see you soon, Luna, okay? Enjoy your new home. Okay, okay, okay. Ow, 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 ow. Some extra food just to make up for it. She goes to it immediately. I got a coffee. Woo! I just returned Tessa's apartment key to her, and uh, now, now I'm leaving Portland. Right now I'm headed down to Southern California from Oregon and the plan is I'm going to be stopping in San Francisco tonight. Now in the past I have driven straight from Portland down to LA and it's like a 16 hour drive and it's doable but it's, it's not enjoyable at all and there's really no reason to put myself through that. So I'm going to be stopping in San Francisco tonight and I am going to, the plan is I'm going to be sleeping at the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, most of you, I'm sure, know what that is. If you don't, Google it. It's a really iconic bridge in San Francisco, California. And I think I, I think I know of a really cool spot where I'll be sleeping in the back of my truck that has great views of the bridge. So that's going to be really cool. I guess I'll just see you there unless something else exciting happens. I will bring you along for that. But if not, then I'll see you in San Francisco. Back down in the smoke here in California. I don't know if it's, it looks pretty bad. I don't know, I know that the Dixie fire was probably the most prominent fire that was going on in California a little while ago. Uh, I don't know how that's doing, but I would imagine that a lot of this smoke is maybe possibly from that, maybe. You guys know the feeling when you're driving on the freeway or the highway or you're just driving somewhere in general and you see a highway patrol or some cop up ahead and they have their speedometer and you instinctually you you hit the brakes even though you're not speeding and then a little bit later you look into your rear view mirror and there's the cop speeding up behind you and then you just jump to the conclusion that like oh crap i guess i was speeding even though i was literally going like the speed limit if not a little bit below yeah, that just happened and I, I just have this this instinctual, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like I just all the time feel like, oh no, I'm speeding, I'm doing something wrong. Because I did get a speeding ticket once and it was like $500. And ever since then I was like, I'm not speeding anymore. I, I, I can't afford to keep speeding, you know, I'll just take my time. What's the rush anyways? Look at that price. When I last filled up in Oregon, it was 3.35 a gallon or something like that. And here it's 4.45. So literally a whole dollar more per gallon, which is insane. That's like 20 extra bucks per tank. Wow, uh, that was an interesting experience. Not only was that like the first in and out that I've ever been to that didn't have a drive-through, like no drive-through at all, it was kind of strange. But also there's like a freaking high school party or something going on in there because it was just swarming, like swarming with high school kids. And it was just, it was a little bit intense and overwhelming right now, but we got the in and out. Hopefully it's worth the wait. I'm gonna go over to the spot next to the bridge, eat my in and out catch some Z's and get some good night. I was about to say get a good night's sleep, but I already said catch some Z's. So I think that would have been redundant. You get the point, let's go to the spot. Back over the bridge we go.
And back on we go yet again. I just can't get enough of this bridge, you know? Well guys, you might be wondering why the heck do I keep crossing the bridge back and forth? It's kind of dumb actually, the, the spot where I'm trying to sleep tonight, it's only accessible when you're traveling from south to north on the bridge. And I already went south to north once, went to In-N-Out, um, and then I had to go all the way back down across the bridge, which is the toll. So I had to pay the toll that time. And then now I'm going back up north. I hope this makes sense. Basically, this is the only way to get to the viewpoint, which I did not know. And this means I'm gonna have to pay the toll twice because I'm gonna have to go south to leave tomorrow. Kind of sucks, but whatever. At least, at least I'll be good for the night. I'm almost here. Uh, it's a pretty sweet view, so check it out. It's actually, it's actually pretty cold out there right now. Uh, this spot that I'm in right now, although it has like a really cool, awesome view, it's actually not, it's not that level to sleep in. So I'm gonna cruise around the parking lot and try to find somewhere a little bit more level. Then I'm gonna eat my in and out because I'm sure it's probably ice cold by now. Oh, look at all these fellow nomads, travelers. We got a Subaru, a couple vans, an RV. Pretty cool. I will be nice and safe here. Hopefully, knock on wood. Okay, I think this spot looks good to me. Check that out, y'all. Luxury. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's it's gonna work. It's better than nothing, right? If you guys are new here, I I don't normally truck camp in this ghetto of a fashion. I, I don't use trash bags for my window covers and this chaotic mess isn't normally here, I promise. I'm actually just like kind of going from point A to point B with a stop in between, and so I don't have anything set up in here right now. It's just like a really run and gun, use what you got type of situation. But hey, look at this. This is These trash bags are coming in clutch because this is a lot better than it would be if I had to just sleep in here with the open windows. I, don't, I hate doing that. I've done it and it's just, it's very uncomfortable. You just feel like somebody's gonna be peeping in at you all night. Such a shame. It's pretty cold, but still tasty. Oh yeah. Nice and chilled, baby. Just the way we like it. It's still really good. Can't even lie. You know, I really can't complain about this in and out even though it's cold, it's so good. It's kind of like eating cold pizza. Cold pizza is solid and we all know, we all know that's the truth. Now we're setting the mood. 
So I did actually see this little trick on a YouTube video once. And although you can't really lock it completely from the inside, you get some vice grips. And you close it like that. And that way, if they really want to get in, they probably still can. But this will at least give them the perception that it's locked and it will give you enough time to hear what's going on and get ready in case they do try to come in. So that's a pretty nifty trick. Alright guys, well... <sighs> it's been a long day, so I will see you guys in the morning. Buenos... Buenos... Buenos noches. Crap, that was the hugest yawn ever. Good morning. I feel like a crackhead with all this stuff. Honestly, it doesn't even look bad at all from the outside. It just looks like normal curtains. You wouldn't even know that they're just trash bags. I don't understand how San Francisco is the most expensive city to live in in the US when you can't even find a place to park to get a cup of coffee. Finally got my coffee. Only had to drive an hour outside of San Francisco to get it. <laughs> Cheers. Woo! Pizza is way better than Starbucks in my opinion. Like way better. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys, like always, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe even consider subscribing, but you don't have to. I just, I already appreciate the fact that you guys watch my videos either way. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Damn, skirt, skirt, minivan. Sheesh. Not bad.